in boundary lubricated bearing there is a of lubricant between the journal and the bearings is a thin film when the lubricant is forced between the journal and the bearing by external pressure uh, the bearing is called hydrostatic lubricated bearing this is the agree when the shaft rotates in anti clockwise direction at low speed in a bearing it will move towards left of the bearing making metal to metal contact when the shaft rotates in anti clockwise direction at high speed bearing it will move towards right of the bearing making no metal to metal contact the property of bearing material which has the ability to accommodate shaft direction deflections and a bearing accurate by plastic deformation without excess wear and heating this is known as comfort uh, uh, comfortability the property of bearing material which has the ability of accommodate small particles of dust uh dust dust etc without scoring the metal the journal is called as embeddlt teflon is used for bearing because of low coefficient of friction the bearing characteristic number is given by z n by p the bearing characteristics number of hydro hydro hydrodynamic bearing depends upon viscosity speed and bearing pressure when the bearing is subjected to fluctuation of load heavy impacts the bearing Uh, characteristics number of should be the bearing module is 15 times when the length of journal bearing journals is equal to diameter of the journal then the bearing is uh, said to be a uh, said to be a square bearing for general industrial machinery the ratio of the uh, length of journal is diameter is taken as 1 to 2 for crankshaft bearing the ratio of the length of the journal is diameter is less than quantity is correct in a journal bearing the load on the bearing is to the axis of the journal perpendicular in an oil lubricated journal bearing the coefficient of friction between the journal and the bearing becomes minimum at a, at an optimum speed then the increases or further increases in speed anti friction bearing is the dash ball and roller bearing the roller contact bearing has compared to sliding contact bearing have all of the above the ball bearings are provided with a cage to maintain the ball at a fixed distance support which of the following bearing is preferred for oscillating condition needle roller bearing deep groove ball bearings are used for combined thrust and radial loads at a high speed the anti friction bearing is the all of this above tapered roller bearings can take both radial and axial loads and the ratio of this bearing greater than unity the rolling contact bearing are known as anti friction bearing it is bearing is designated by the number of 305 it means that the bearing of the medium service whose bore is 25 mm the bearing of medium series have capacity over the light series 30 to 40% the bearings of heavy series heavy capacity over the medium series is 20 to 30% the piston pin bearings in heavy duty diesel engines are needle roller bearings which are the following in an anti friction bearing is the A needle bearing on two parallel and coplanar shafts are connected by gears having teeth parallel to the axis of the shaft arrangement is known as a spiral gearing is known in a skew bevel uh, gearing the axis of the shaft are non intersecting and non parallel to the teeth are straight the helical bevel gearing the axis of shafts are and the teeth are curved this is non intersecting and non parallel and when two non parallel are intersecting but coplanar shaft are connected by gears the arrangement is known as a bevel gearing is right when two non intersecting and non coplanar shafts are connected by gears the arrangement is known as the um, spiral gearing uh, the gears are termed as a medium velocity gears if the perpendicular velocity is 3 to 15 meter per second an imaginary circle which by pure rolling action gives the same motion the actual gear is the pitch circle the size of gear is usually specified by pitch circle diameter the radial distance of tooth from the pitch circle to the top of the tooth is called as the addendum the addendum is radial distance from the dash pitch circle to the bottom of the tooth uh, the radial distance from the top of tooth to the bottom of the tooth is called the clearance this is true the radial distance from the to the clearance circle is called the working depth this is the addendum addendum circle the face of the tooth is the dash surface of the tooth above the pitch surface the flank of the tooth is the surface of the tooth below the pitch surface the ratio of the number of teeth to the pitch circle diameter the Uh, measurement is called as circle which is agree the ratio of pitch circle diameter of millimeter of the number of teeth is called as module the product of diameter of pitch circle and equal to pi the product of the diameter of pitch and module is equal to 1 correct the module on the circle of diameter of pitch is yes. 
the backlash first per gear depends upon both a and b the redundant circle diameter is equal to pitch circle diameter cos phi the difference between the tooth space and tooth thickness is measured to the pitch which circle is called as backlash and the contact ratio is ratio of length of arc of contact of the circular pitch according to law of gearing common normal to point of contact between the a uh, pair of teeth must always pass through the pitch point is the right the velocity sliding the distance point of contact from the pitch point is the is directly proportional to the pressure angle of our involute gears depends upon the size of teeth disagree an involute pinion gear is mesh a both have same size of addendum there will be interface between the uh, tip of the gear and flank of pinion a minimum number of teeth of pinion which uh, which will mesh with any gear without interface since 20 degrees full depth involute teeth will be 18 which of the following statement is correct for gear all of the above in a gear having involute to the normal involute tangent to the base circle if the center distance of mating gears having involute teeth is varied within limit of the velocity ratio remains unchanged the center distance between two meshing involute gears is equal to sum of base circle divided by cos phi Uh, when the top of tooth to uh, undercuts the root of the mating gears is known as interface this is the yes the interface may only be avoided by addendum circuits two mating gears cut to common tangent to the base circuit between the points of tangents is it true the contact ratio for gears is gear greater than 1 the center distance of the mating gears having involute gear involute teeth increases and the pressure angle is increases the value of lewis from factor used in the design of gear is all of the above Lewis equation gears is used to find compressive stress in bending. Lewis from factor for 14 and a half composite and full depth of involute system is 0.124 minus 0.684 by t. Lewis from factor for the 20 degrees full depth involute gear system is equal to 0.154 0.841 by t. We write the expression 0.1750 0.841 by t is the Lewis from uh, Lewis form factor for 20 degrees uh, stub system. The velocity factor for ordinary cut to gears opening at velocity sub to 12.5 meter per second equal to 3 by 3 plus v. The velocity factor for carefully cut to gear operating the valve and the velocity up to is equal to 40 by uh, 4.5 by 4.5 plus v is equal to 12.5 meter per second. The velocity factor very accurately and ground metallic gears operating the velocity is up to dash equal to 6 by 6 plus v is the 20 meter per second. The velocity factor precision metallic gear cut into high accuracy operating of the Uh, bringing at the velocity up to 20 meter per second equal to 0.75 by 0.75 plus root v. In order to withstand resistance to where the best profile of gear is 14 and a half full depth involute tooth, the allowable static stress for steel gears is approximately of the ultimate tensile stress is the one third. The dynamic tooth load is due to dash. All of this Lewis equation is applied to to weaker of the pinion of gear. The wear load should be the dynamic load is the less than. The Lewis equation for the tooth with involute profile predict the static load capacity of the cantilever beam of uniform strength is true. The static tooth load should be the dynamic load is the greater than surface tenderness limit of gear material is dependent upon its brinial hardness number. In helical gears, the resistance parallel to the axis between similar faces of adjacent teeth is the called is the axial pitch. A helical gear, the resistance between the similar faces of adjacent teeth along helix of the A pitch cylinder normal to the pitch teeth is called a normal pitch. The helical gears, the right hand helixes, on one gear will mesh the helix. The other gear is the left hand. The helix angle for single helical gear ranges from 20 degrees to 35 degrees. The helix angle for double helical gears may be made up of to 45 degrees. If t is the actual number of teeth of helical gear and the helix angle of teeth, then the more formative number of teeth is written as t is second cube pi. If the helix angle of helical gear is increased the load carrying capacity of the load increases is the incorrect the form factor of helical gear with increases the helix angle is increases the bevel gears having a equal teeth and equal pitch connect to two shafts so whose a uh, whose axis intersect at right angle that the key known as a mater gear when bevel gears connect to two shafts so whose axis intersect at an angle greater than Angle and one and bevel gear has pitch angle of 90 degrees. Then they are known as crown bevel gears. The face angle of bevel gear is equal to pitch angle plus uh, addendum angle. The root angle of bevel gear is equal to pitch angle minus addendum angle. If B denotes the face, with L denotes the cone distance for the bevel gear, then the bevel 
factor is written by 1 minus b by l for a bevel gear having the pitch angle theta the, the ratio of the, the ratio of form formative number of teeth to actual number of teeth t 1 by cos theta in warm gears the angle between the tangent to the pitch helix and element of the cylinder is known as helix angle in warm gears the pressure angle of the angle between two inclined faces of axial plane is correct the lead angle of warm is 222.5 degrees its helix angle will be as 67.5 in warm gears which lead angle is the the angle between the tangent to the pitch helix and the plane of rotation thank you in energy stored per unit volume is resiliency load per unit deflection stiffness so the maximum strain energy which can be stored in a material per unit volume proof resiliency the ratio of the elastic limit to the ultimate limit is the elastic ratio the maximum stress below which material can withstand the infinite number of cycles cycles of stress is the endurance limit the ratio of the fatigue limit the tensile strength is the endurance ratio the process of improving fatigue property by operation the stress under the endurance limit is the under stresses the process of improvement can be fatigue properties obtained by understanding then raising the stress in the small increments this is the coaxing the slow and progressive deformation of material with time under constant stress is creep sealing device which enables direct contact between the sealing component and rotating shaft is uh, inter in, um, interference interfere interfere inter facing seals interface seals there is no mechanical contact with rotating shaft is uh, rotating shaft is dash interstitial seals and to no, no rubber coaxing mm, the pressure vessel is defined as the thin or thick depending ratio of plate thickness of main radius of pressure vessel being less than or more than is 1 by 15 and operation Uh, performed in a round nose chisel by pressing at the ends of bevel plates of obtained leak proof joints is caulking type of rivets used for joint which is the accessible from only one side is the blind rivets according to unwin formula the diameter of rivet is 6 root of thickness of plate a key inserted into the keyway such a partly in the shaft and partly in the hub is sunk key <coughs> A key consisting of two keys driven at 90 degrees to 100 degree apart at fitted diagonally, and used for heavy duty power transmission. In either direction is Kennedy's key. A rectangular key uh, with the two ends believed for off at 45 degrees to facilitate assembly and disassembly is the berth key. A joint used to connect two rods subjected to tensile loads will be knuckle joint. A cylinder can be threaded of both ends is studs. A specimen from lubrication, which is the development of effective films, encouraged a encouraged local elastic deformation bearing. So all it is electrohydrodynamic lubricants. A plate cylindrical, which commun communicates motion to the follower by means of its edge or groove cut in the surface cam. Combination of gears in which some all the gears have motion component rotation about the axis, translation or revolution at the axis, epicyclic gears. threads for general use especially very rapid assembly required for the iron soft metals and plastic such coarse steps throat <coughs> uh, thread for highly stressed uh, parts and where internal threads are required thin wall fastener is the uh, fine threaded series largest diameter of the screw thread is the major diameter the smallest diameter of screw thread is the minor diameter Uh, it makes a uh, semi permanent connection between two shaft coupling a coupling having two basic parts of impeller and runner there being no mechanical connection between the two shafts is the fluid coupling a coupling which permits the disagreements of the coupled shaft during rotation is clutches uh, brakes used the fly wheels quick braking where large kinetic energy the rotating masses particular use of lock brakes due to excessive heating in the eddy current brakes drives with the efficiency of 98 to 49 having a slip phase no initial tension and possibility of traveling in either direction is the roller chain drives a built up here stands of wire laid together wire rope a wing rope in which the wires and starts are laid in the same direction is a langley rope a rope made of six strands each of 19 wires the strands being laid around a fiber core is standard hosting rope 
a rope constructed six stands seven wires each land laid around fiber core uh, covered <coughs> outer layer composite to will start seven wires regularly is the uh, not switching a tooth form gear for intersecting shaft is a bevel the ratio of number of teeth the gear the diameter of the pitch cycle is diameter pitch the distance along the line of action between the sus involute tooth surface is the base pitch the acute angle between the common and normal to the profile at the con contact point and the common pitch plane is the pressure angle the circle from which the involute tooth profiles are generated is base circle uh, bevel gears for right angle shaft gears having one is to one ratio is meter gear bearing to prevent lengthwise motion a rotating shaft is thr thrust bearing uh, being used to prevent or minimize leakage of a fluid through mechanical uh, clearance in the either the static or dynamic steady packings a unique flange packings having an yellow estometer lip generally bound to a metal cup which is press fitted into smooth cylindrical bore with the oil seal uh, under dynamic stress the endurance limit of the material should taken as the creation for the design of the shaft for shaft having distance l between the supports the critical speed are proportional to l of minus 3 by 2 a type of spring is suited for space limitations and providing a variable stiffness conical helical spring a type of swing for a high compression capacity to fit into small space is the bevelized swing. Uh, 54 is the 54, 55. Uh, 54 is the set screw feather set screw. Uh, used for fostering collar shaves gears is the shaft to prevent relative relation with the uh, transition set screw is first set screw. Uh, this is rather set screw. We have set screw. Away the chess is feather, a feather, a feather key prevent parts from turning on shaft while allowing them move the length by directions. Okay, thank you.